friends, and welcome to Storytime. I am Flyleaf the Book Fairy, your friendly neighborhood storybook fairy, and I have a question for you. In fact, it's a question that I have asked in the past, but sometimes we change our minds, so I'm going to ask it again. If you could have any pet in the world, what would it be? Would it be a rainbow kitty cat with a unicorn horn? Would it be a talking penguin that serves you dinner? Do you want a goblin for a pet? They don't make good pets. There's boogers everywhere, I promise. Well, today we're going to explore some different pet options so you can see what may or may not work for you in If I Had a Griffin, written by Vicki Van Sickle and illustrated by Kale Atkinson. We read a Kale Atkinson book back during Halloween. It was very good. This one's just as delightful. Are you ready to get started? If I had a griffin, would that fit in a tiny little pet bed in your bedroom? I don't think it would. Last week, I got a hamster, my first and only pet. He mostly eats and sleeps and hides and gets his shavings wet. If only I could have a pet with strange exotic, exotic powers, I know that I'd find lots to do to while away the hours. If I had a unicorn, I'd braid her silky mane. I'd make her silver horseshoes that tinkled in the rain. We'd prance through fields of posies and nibble nectarines. I'd shine her horn with candy corn to get a starry sheen. Unicorns are pretty, but they're also very shy. On second thought, I'd like to give a hippogriff a try. A hippogriff needs lots to do, like run and jump and fetch. I'd take him to the dog park to give his wings a stretch. Oh. Though a hippogriff is tons of fun, the dogs might find him scary. And when it comes to playing ball, well, things could get quite hairy. Mm. All right, so not a unicorn, not a hippogriff. Ooh, perhaps I'll get a Sasquatch with burly, curly fur. But then I'd spend three hours a day attacking snarls and burrs. Hmm. I'd rather spend that time playing. If I had a griffin, I'd love each flashing feather. But she needs flying every day, regardless of the weather. If I had a kraken, we'd swim and deep sea dive. But I would need a scuba suit in order to survive. If I had a dragon with a temperamental snout, I'd need a fire extinguisher to put her sneezes out. A Kirin needs a field of grass at least an ocean wide. A jackalope needs sturdy reins for bumpy, jumpy rides. Phoenix needs a chimney nest that's smoke and fireproof. Manticore needs special floss for each and every tooth. Harpies are too screechy. Chupacabras like to bite. Fairies play too many tricks. It's true, we do. And Kelpies hate the light. Basilisk is slippery. Chimera likes to scratch. Mermaids brush their hair all day. And sprites are hard to catch. Perhaps a hamster's not so bad. In fact, he's rather sweet. I love his furry belly and his teeny tiny feet. He may not be a griffin or a creature from the sea, but I am his and he is mine and that's enough for me. What do you think? Do you still want that magical pet that you thought of in the very beginning? Or is the ordinary cuddly one that you have at home just right for you? Well, if you come up with any other pet options, please let me know. 
grownups can help you in the in the links in the information below and i will see you another day for another story and maybe that story will even be about the pet of your dreams i'll see you next time friends goodbye